Hey everybody, it's Premier Gal here, and I'm sure that you've heard of the term LUT. What is a LUT, and how do you use it on your footage in Premiere Pro? So LUT actually stands for Look Up Table. And as Robbie Carmen, he's a colorist, says, LUTs are dumb math. They're literally math that you apply to your footage that basically calculates some sort of change to make it look different, okay? And you shouldn't rely on LUTs to color correct and fix your footage. Why? Well, let's say that you have a bunch of shots and they all look differently. Applying the same LUT to each shot is not gonna make them all look the same, right? Because you're still gonna have to make individual adjustments to each shot to make it have the same look. So one LUT does not fit all. And after I spoke with lots of colorists, they told me that you shouldn't rely on LUTs for color correcting. It really should be used for creative purposes. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to apply a LUT for a creative use. My friend Unmesh Dinda, who has this awesome Photoshop channel on YouTube called Pix and Perfect, created a LUT for this cityscape footage that I'm about to show you. And what I'm going to do is take that LUT that he made and apply it in Premiere Pro. So first, go check out his tutorial on how he made the LUT inside of Photoshop. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below to watch that. And ultimately, I hope that this workflow will show you that you can work with photo editors like Unmesh. And so that way as an editor, you can take the LUTs that they create for you and apply them to footage inside of Premiere Pro. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys. So as you see here in my finder window, Unmesh sent me four different types of LUT files and Premiere Pro works with 3DL in dot cube and so i've opened up these files inside of text wrangler here and as you can see it's really just a bunch of numbers here right so 3dl just a bunch of numbers the cube is just a bunch of numbers basic math but this doesn't really mean anything to me i can't really understand what this is doing so i really have to apply it into premiere pro to actually see what this is going to do to the footage so let's go ahead and close this down so I have the footage here in my timeline, this test footage of the cityscape that Unmesh sent me. And what I want to do is apply the LUT to this footage to give it the new effect, the new creative look. So I'm gonna click on the footage here in the timeline, go up to window, go to Lumetri color, and under the basic correction, there's a part that says input LUT. And next to the drop down menu, I'm gonna click and click on browse. And here is where I can select either the 3DL or the cube. I'm going to select the 3DL. It doesn't matter. Just hit open. And now you can see that the LUT is applied. And if you want to make any further corrections after this to the exposure, if you want to reduce it a bit or increase it, um, you can adjust the contrast, highlight shadows, or play around with any of the other tabs like creative where you can increase the vibrance or sharpen the footage a bit. So really it's just a starting point where you can make further edits. So I hope that you guys found this tutorial useful. Thanks again to Unmesh for making this LUT. Um, be sure to go subscribe to his channel. I make new video production tutorials each week on my channel and most of them are based on what you wanna learn. So go to premiergal.com slash tutorials and leave your request there. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.